Hi everybody, my name is Brittany of Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and today I have an excellent thrifted haul for you. It was one of those trips where you ever go and you kind of know in the first few minutes that like it's going to be a really good trip and then later on I kind of figured out that like <laughs> later on I kind of figured out that they must have been going through some really good bags in the back and they were just like bringing it out and bringing it, huh? Uh-huh. It's a pink jacket. I'll show you in a minute. So, like, when they're going through, like, a boutique that's donated a bunch of stuff, they just keep bringing it out, and you've got to come back in multiple trips, because they can't get it all out in, like, one day, so it's like you kind of just keep hitting it. So that's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> okay, so let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I found were these Allen Edmonds. Sorry, baby, I don't want to put it in your mouth. They're this sort of reddish-brown... And this is my second time finding Allen Edmonds. These are actually in better condition than the other ones that I found. They do have some scuffing on the toe, but these are called the Park. Toe? Yeah, these are called the Park Avenue, and they are a size eleven. 11. So Allen, yep. So Allen Edmonds is supposed to be a good bolo brand. I'm testing it bolo out. My brand. other ones, bolo brand. My other ones have not sold yet, but I like these a lot better. So I'm thinking they're gonna sell first. So this was in the $2 bin where they throw all their sweatshirts and activewear. This is Saturday Sunday by Anthropology. It is a size large and it's sort of like this hooded, I don't know if you call it a bat wing, not quite, but it's just like a hooded cropped hoodie, blue and red. The back is knit. It does have like a little bit of a fabric pick there, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Long sleeve, just Long kind of a cute, sleeve. yep, cute little crop hoodie for $2. So I've never heard of this brand before, but since it was only 99 cents, I decided to try it. It looks like it's very well made. This is called Kindred Bravery, Bravely, Kindred Bravely. So there it is on the bottom around the, um, the band. And it just, it looks like it's been, it just looks like it's very well made and it feels like good quality. So for 99 cents, I think I can resell it. The sizing is a little bit weird. Um, it says S busty slash P generous. I, I'm not really sure. It doesn't just say like small or 38. What are you doing? Faces. Huh? Faces? Faces. Okay, carry on. Hi. This is a new tag, airy top. Tag. I usually don't pick up airy, but since this was only either 99 cents or $2, I grabbed it. This is actually a size large, and I thought that it was a swimsuit top, but I think it's just a crop top. So very tropical, pretty tie top, like a bustier, and then bustier. it's got bustier, and then it's got like this this stretchy material in the back. So that's nice. Still digging through the two dollar oh bin. Yep, hearts. Hi. These are a size medium. They're called Pop Fit. And okay. they are new with tags. And so Pride Month just passed, but I still think they'll sell anyway. They are black with these rainbow hearts. Mm -hmm. These are overalls. Of what? Mm -hmm. Like a uh, farmer. You know, like a... Uh, old McDonald? <laughs> Is it Old McDonald? What's that farm song? Did, did you sing? Farm. Yeah, I thought there was another farm song. Maybe not. I'm tripping. Anyways, made well, size extra small. This is my second pair. Mm -hmm. This is my second pair of denim made well overalls that I found. What color? Good job. The other ones, these actually feel better than the other ones. They are a little bit distressed. I'm sorry, I'm getting it all in your face. Face? Yeah, but anyways, uh, oh maybe God. these will have better. Uh, maybe these will have yeah. better look. So oh, these so are good. what I say, extra yeah. small. I think I only got charged the jean price for these, so like four dollars and seventeen cents. I only find them every once in a while. This is a Goldie, and these are a size twenty-seven. Are these a button fly? No, they're not. I thought one was a button fly, but anyway, one is called the Sophie Fit, and then I found another pair. And they were the Nico fit. So I think it's just a skinny, distressed hem. Always pick up a Goldie if they are in good condition. 
um, no internal staining. I think I did pass on the last pair that I found because there was some internal staining and I don't want to do that. I, I can't get that out and I don't really want to deal with it. If you have internal stains in your pants or your jeans, it's probably best to just not donate them. So anyway, I grabbed these for $4.17 and then I grabbed these, so second pair of size 27. These are the button fly, distressed on the back pocket. See the button fly there and also distressed on the hem. So I don't think these are quite as much of a skinny fit as the other ones, but totally lucked out to find two pairs of Goldie jeans. I'm excited. <laughs> I found this new with partial tag, a new day, extra large ribbed cream bodysuit. Excellent condition, didn't see any stains. I'll double check, but I didn't see any stains. It's got the snap crotch there. So I only paid $2 for this. Okay, so when I saw these, there's another brand of overalls that I usually see at this thrift store. It's called um, Liberty. And I've looked them up before because I thought that they were vintage. They usually have like a little bit of green on them. And they don't really resell for much. So when I saw these, I thought that they were those, but they're not. When I noticed this label, I couldn't remember where I saw this, but I remember it thinking, bolo, bolo, bolo. So this is called Pointer Brand. When I looked up comps, there's something else that comes up that says, that says LC King. I don't see that on here anywhere. I tried looking for it, but it's still the same brand. So it's got this zipper up here. This is actually a size... Uh, well, I got two pair because somebody donated two. So it's a uh, 52 by 30 or either it's a 52 by 32. There's another pair that look a little different than this. They've got like white straps and they've got, I think, pointer brand printed on the straps. So I think those are vintage, but I still think that I should be able to get at least $50 for these. Here's the second pair. This one has like a little bit of a patch. I don't know. Uh flaw imperfection there on the strap but it's really not that big of a deal so again if you want to look that up as a bolo you might want to check it out pointer brand and then it's got the little hound dog there i grabbed this because it was a really nice jacket and it's new with tags so this is white house black market it is an extra small new with tag as i said and original price was 175 dollars this is the Ultra Suede Moto Jacket in Enchantress Pink. So just a really nice jacket. Only paid five dollars and a quarter for it. Definitely think I'll be able to get a nice return on this. Here is the other jacket that I picked up. Uh huh. It's Universal Thread, which is a Target brand. Um, originally fifty dollars, size small. I just thought it was a beautiful purple full zip Sherpa shaggy jacket i almost passed on this and then at the very last minute i saw the last word so i don't know how you pronounce it i don't know if it's poemi or poem or pomi <laughs> but i saw citron if you can see that there it says pomi poemi by Citron, and that is Citron of Santa Monica, which is a more expensive brand to be on the lookout for. I have sold it before. This is a size medium, so I went on and picked it up because I know that brand is good. I've never found this diffusion or this line, but I still think the comps look okay, at least 40 for it. It does have like a little bit of, a couple of runs down here at the bottom. But I'll disclose that, and I think if the brand is heavy enough, it'll still sell. This is a size medium carrots vest. It's sort of this colorful, multicolor, bohemian, paisley print vest, quarter zip. I do like carrots. It's an equestrian brand uh, for people who like horseback riding. So I grabbed this for, I think, $4 maybe. Here is a Sundance size medium I uh, have not had the best luck with it, but since this was in such good condition, and I kind of like it because it feels a little heavier, I like this floral print, and I'm not sure, but is the blue tag the newer tag? The other one I found was red, so I'm, I'm and that was a while ago, I'm assuming that the blue tag, the blue uh, font is maybe a newer one, 
but it was just in such good condition kind of like a, a wide bat wing sort of sweater so I'm gonna give this a chance I paid five dollars and 24 cents for it I've got this carbon to cobalt size large this is really nice it's a men's cable knit sort of cream uh, maybe tan I don't know oatmeal sweater chunky is it full zip I think it's full zip no it's no yes it is it's full zip it just if you could feel the weight of it you can feel the quality and I heard carbon to cobalt actually does well I have another piece that I recently picked up it hasn't sold yet but this I couldn't leave behind I only paid five dollars and a quarter for it so I think come fall somebody is really gonna want this okay this is cool G star raw so this is a pair of men's jeans uh, there it is G star raw and these are the ones that kind of curve out, like the legs. I saw them at the last minute because they were constantly putting things out. So I kept circling the store. They're a little bit distressed. I don't know what the style of this is called. Where, <coughs> sorry, dust. Where like yes. the legs kind of go out some. But I know that it is a popular style. These are, what size? Size 31, length 32. So this is a really cool find. I only find G-Star Raw every once in a while. I had a, a women's jacket a while ago, and that sold pretty good. So I'm excited to try it again. This brand is called Desigual, which every time I see the Siebel, the Siebel, something like that, it's like D-E-C-I-E-B, something like that. I always see it, and I think of this, and I've never seen this before. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's just that weird brand again, the Siebel. And I was like, no, I think that's the other one that you're supposed to be looking for. So this is a size medium. I like this because it's very artsy looking, like art to wear. It's sort of like this split color block. And I like the buttons. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's sort of like... I don't know. It, it looks like it's mismatched buttons, all the different colors. And then on the back, it has the brand and some floral. So this is kind of cool to find. I think maybe the comps may have dropped since I remembered this being a bolo, but some of them still look pretty good. So just excited to have finally found something. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All of that. It's just so much fun going on in this shirt. I can see why at one point it was popular or is popular, but I'm excited to see how much I can get for it. Here is a Travis Matthew 2XL men's, just like a Henley shirt. Saw this at the last minute, only $4.17. So I picked that up. It's also got Travis Matthew written on the back. In the last video, I was finding a lot of Patagonia, and then when I went back to shop again, I found another one of these. So, came from the same person, but they were just slowly putting it out. So, this one doesn't actually have a size. I believe the other one was large, but this is Patagonia. Better sweater in this beautiful blue color. Then, there were these Spanx, and this is a size large. I am not the biggest fan of Spanx. It doesn't move like that for me. Um, maybe it's gotten oversaturated. But I just thought that this style was really cool. It's this brown faux suede, which I usually don't see. They're typically in black when I find them. So because this was different and it's a size large, I'm going to put them in my closet. So this is Nike ACG. This is a size small. And it's actually like a jacket, like a full zip jacket. Pretty cool. It's got the ACG on the back collar, sort of like a mock neck. And you can feel the weight. You can feel the quality of it. So these are Vera Bradley, totally cool. I love the sparkly sequins and it's an owl. Sort of like a pretty night scene. It's like an owl outside in front of the moon, the flowers. They got this nice little lining here and I don't think she wore them too, too much. They're a smaller size. They are actually a small five, six, but I do like Vera Bradley sometimes. These are really pretty and I don't think she wore them that much. So I paid $4 for them. I grabbed this because it was new with tags. I heard another reseller that I like to watch. Um, she said that she actually has pretty good luck with Free Country. I just grabbed it because it was new with tags. But honestly, I like this for myself, so I'll probably keep it. Favorite color is purple, and this is large enough. I tried it on. I just, 
I really like it and I wear a vest often so like in the fall and in the winter I have started wearing vests a lot but my other two are white and sometimes I worry about them getting dirty so I wanted some with some color I think I grabbed another one that was black not too long ago but this one just seemed really cool and I only paid five dollars for it so that was a good buy this is a really cool haul um, to find two pairs of a Goldie jeans, um, lots of clothes, lots of clothes. <laughs> two pairs of a Goldie jeans, the pointer brand overalls, um, they were just shoveling it out and it was just so good to shop. Close so, Close hmm? Close card. Not yet. They got to sell. So thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you guys in the next one.